well dear students okay we have already dissected the submental and the digastric triangle and this is now time to go into the uh, submandibular region deeper part of the submandibular region and all this region is just below this lower margin of the mandible here submental triangle is behind the symphysis mandi uh, mandible and here between the two belly of the digastric which i will show you here is the submental region where the submandibular gland is in close contact or close relation to the mandible is here the facial artery is coming from above i will just show you and then after some time we will come back again to show you the deeper dissection of the submandibular region let us see this submandibular region here you can see here this is the our facial artery tortuous facial artery along with the facial vein which has been broken here so facial and this is a lymph node in the submandibular group of lymph node this is the submandibular gland is here in relation to the lower margin and the inner surface of the mandible you can see here the anterior belly of the digastric you can also see here the common tendon between anterior and posterior belly of the digastric here you, i can show you that this is the stylohyoid muscle and deep to here is the posterior belly of the digastric here going towards the notch of the mastoid process so stylohyoid and the posterior belly of digastric and this is the common tendon and this is the sling by which it is attached to the hyoid bone this is the hyoid bone is here and this is the common tendon what you are seeing in this video also between the two anterior belly of digastric the floor of this a triangle submental is formed by here rather the roof of this is formed by the mylohyoid muscle the same mylohyoid muscle is continuous here and some of the fibers you can see in this you can see the posterior margin of the mylohyoid muscle here i have just exposed this posterior and these are the fibers of the mylohyoid muscle which will be going above the, the superior i mean to say the superficial part of the submandibular gland is lying on the mylohyoid muscle and from the free margin we will see that its deeper part will be going deep on to the superficial surface of the mylohyoid muscle now what i am going to do is that i will detach this anterior belly of the digastric reflect it back will remove the superficial part of the submandibular gland okay will dissect the this the artery that is the uh, facial artery which will be indenting to this gland and will try to trace it down below where it is opening into the external carotid artery and then what i will do is that i will remove the mylohyoid muscle which you are seeing here okay i hope that you are seeing the mylo i will detach the mylohyoid muscle from its origin and will reflect it towards the medial side so as to expose the hyoglossus muscle the i mean to say the deep part of the submandibular gland its duct and the two important nerve that is the hypoglossal nerve and the lingual nerve so we will come back after few minutes okay to show you the deeper dissection thank you welcome back students now after dissecting somewhat here in the submandibular region i want to trace this artery okay this was the lymph node along with this submandibular superficial part of the gland i will just cut this uh, lymph node okay so this was the submandibular group of the lymph node now this is the artery which is now going and i have exposed that it is going and then opening into the external carotid i hope that you are able to see this opening here into the external carotid artery this is the external carotid artery what i did was that i was i have detached the anterior belly of the digastric cut the sling of the intermediate tendon and reflected this anterior belly 
along with the intermediate tendon and this was the posterior belly and I have also cut this stylohyoid muscle okay this is stylohyoid muscle and all was reflected back because this was interfering in the deep dissection of the submandibular region after I mean say tracing this artery into the external carotid here we what we got is the hypoglossal nerve this is the 12th cranial nerve I hope that you are able to see this is that hypo which is winding around the external carotid artery then it is lying on this hyoglossus muscle so this was the mylohyde muscle where I had shown you in the last section that this is the posterior border of the mylohyde muscle fibers are going towards the mylohyde line of the mandible this is the lower border of mandible and this is the part where from superficial and deep part where they were winding around the posterior margin of the uh, mylohyde muscle I have cut it so this is in continuation to that of the uh, superficial part which we will see uh, after few minutes okay when I will reflect this mylohyde from its origin and then re will reflect so that we will be able to expose the complete surface of the hyoglossus muscle on which this hypoglossal nerve is lying now then I have cleaned this external carotid artery and if you can see I got the artery that is the lingual artery you can see I hope that you are seeing this lingual artery see this this is that lingual artery which is forming the loop here okay so this is that lingual artery which is disappearing deep to the posterior border of the hyoglossus muscle I am not going to show you the other interesting structure which I got just concentrate on to the lingual artery hypoglossal nerve and hyoglossus muscle now in the next portion I am going to cut the mylohyde muscle thank you welcome back students just after few further steps of dissection which I have followed from this dissector the theme dissector okay volume third I am the author of this volume third and I am exactly following the steps which are given in this dissector to expose the deeper part of the submandibular region okay now just I have stopped this and want to shoot for a minute here because I have just exposed the duct that is the duct of the submandibular gland which is very delicate and transparent can you see this which is in my far safe here and this is the uh, duct and this is that deeper part of the gland which lies deep to the mylohyde muscle and from the anterior end of which this duct is going here and this duct will cross to this hypoglossal nerve here see this hypoglossal the 12th cranial nerve okay I will expose and if I can see the crossing I will show you but I wanted to show you this uh, duct of the submandibular gland because I am afraid that when I will try to find out the submandibular ganglia this duct may be torn okay so I wanted to show you so you have seen the hypoglossal muscle and here I have dissected the posterior most border of the hypoglossal muscle here uh, sorry hyoglossus muscle here and have shown you this is the lingual artery which I have shown you this lingual artery after forming the loop it is going deep to that of the uh, posterior border of the hyoglossus muscle see this uh, just I am pulling the lingual artery and you can see here hmm, the posterior border of the hyoglossal hyoglossus muscle is here the hole is the hyoglossus muscle on which lies the hypoglossal nerve now in the next part I will try to find out the submandibular ganglia and will show you the lingual nerve and if possible the glossopharyngeal nerve and mylohyde nerves and vessels thank you welcome back students now just I wanted to show you I wanted to show you the lingual nerve first okay and then I will show you the submandibular ganglion the lingual nerve you can see here this is the trunk of the lingual nerve okay which I am showing you here from this lingual nerve the two roots very delicate two roots are coming and I will show you that this is that root which is bringing the sympathetic fiber I am say parasympathetic fibers to this ganglion can you see this rounded structure 
hanging by the lingual nerve. This is the submandibular ganglion and after relay some of the fibers will go towards the sublingual gland. But most of the fibers they will come down below here okay, and will go inside the gland. This is the deeper part of the gland. From the deeper part of the gland they will also go to the superficial. So I wanted to show you this submandibular ganglion here. Okay, Now I will go still deeper to trace the lingual uh, artery okay deep to the hyoglossus muscle so what i am going to do is that i will remove the hyoglossus muscle so as to go to the deeper structure of hyoglossus thank you welcome back students now here i have reflected the hyoglossus muscle from its origin from hyoid bone and the greater carnua of the hyoid bone here and i have traced just deep to this i have reflected hyoglossus this artery that was the lingual artery which is going deep to the or on superficial surface of the hyoglossus muscle and we can trace it that it is going deep inside the substance of the muscle now this muscle which was superficial muscle here just deep to the myelohyoid muscle here this is the geniohyoid muscle and here i have reflected deep to the geniohyoid muscle this muscle is the genioglossus which takes origin from the superior genial tubercle and goes to the uh, tongue okay the main mass of the tongue is formed by the genioglossus muscle okay and this muscle is considered to be a septi muscle because it takes origin from that of the superior genial tubercle of the mandible and goes into the tongue so during the anesthesia uh, the, it prevents the tongue to fall back so it retracts the tongue to the anterior side just thus it is called a septi muscle so these are the structure which lies deep to the hyoglossus let me tell you okay after just putting back to this hyoglossus this was the hypoglossal nerve this was the lingual nerve and if you trace the lingual nerve forward as i did after just turning the mandible by giving a midline cut here turning the mandible what we found was this nerve that is if you are able to see this see this nerve lying into the myelohyde groove this is the nerve to the myelohyde which will also supply to the anterior belly of the digastric here i want to show you that on the deeper dissection we found this gland which is called as the sublingual gland okay and just through this passes this duct that is the duct of the submandibular gland so this page of the structure is the sublingual gland i think i have shown you almost everything and i just could not find okay the styloglossus and the glossopharyngeal nerve Okay, if I will get the time in afternoon, I will just dissect the styloglossus and the glossopharyngeal nerve. This complete the complete dissection of the submandibular region, deep dissection of. Thank you very much for watching this video.